White-faced mountain, born from nature, its ascent into the clouds began more than a billion years ago, a long and storied history. Organized in the 1920s, the Snowbirds were one of the most famous winter sports groups in America, spawning nationwide development of recreational and competitive winter sports. Many Lake Placid region pioneers helped write the first chapters of skiing in America and eventually Whiteface. The story of Whiteface Mountain development goes back to September 11, 1929, when FDR, as the governor of New York, breaks ground on the development of a Veterans Memorial Highway. And he comes back for the ceremonial grand opening September 14, 1935. In 1938, Johansson and members of the Lake Placid Ski Council began clearing an old logging road on Little Whiteface along the route that is now the Wilderness Trail. The trail featured a 2,700-foot vertical drop and became New York's first certified Class A racing trail. Several major competitions were then hosted on the mountain but one had to climb approximately 3,000 feet to the start. The most important decision on the future of skiing at Whiteface took place on November 4, 1941, when New Yorkers narrowly approved a constitutional amendment allowing ski trails on Whiteface. It was not until the late 1940s on the northeast side of Whiteface that Marble Mountain development opened and it became known for its steepness and difficulty, as well as for its winds and lack of snow cover. This resulted in the Whiteface Mountain Commission designing new trails on Little Whiteface. When ski enthusiast Averill Harriman became governor of New York in 1951, Whiteface became more of a reality. Construction was completed in January 1958. Arthur Draper was the early manager of three New York State ski areas, including the Whiteface development, with Olympic hopes for Whiteface dating back to the 1930s even before it was a recognized Olympic sport in 1936. Further expansion and projects were completed in advance of the 1980 Winter Olympics, where Whiteface was on the world's biggest sports stage. A 1.87 mile downhill course, yielding an average speed of 64 miles per hour, with an average vertical descent rate of 25.9 feet per second. During those years, Whiteface became a prominent training venue for ski racing and hosted U.S. national and World Cup competitions. Decades later, the legacy of the 1938 racing trail on Little Whiteface continues to grow. Whether learning to ski or competing at the highest level, professional instructors with the Olympic Authority, clubs, and schools provide skiing and snowboarding experiences, lessons, and race programming for all ages and abilities. The improvements that Orders made in the mountain really solidified our future. You know, we've invested so heavily in our lift systems and our snowmaking systems, and a lot of what we were replacing was from the Olympics, so it was over 40 years old. You know, looking into the future, it's bright. We're set up with a, a lot of new resources, a lot of new lodges, a lot of new lifts, and we're going to be able to sustain ourselves for the, for the next 30, 40 years. The Bear Den Learning Center is an amazing jewel in the Northeast. We have instructors come from all over the Northeast, PSIA, Aussie instructors. It's an area that is dedicated solely to learning terrain. Just as the mountain itself rises into and above the clouds, skiers and riders training here rise too. It's the mountain, it's the terrain, it's the way the runs are cut, it's the way the snowmaking gets done, it's the grooming. It's all the pieces that have to come together to make it a productive environment for us. The terrain at Whiteface is so great for the East Coast. Um, there's so much different variability, so many different places you can go. A lot of steep trails, a lot of mellow trails, and a lot of things that you can just work on being a good ski racer or a skier in general at. Whiteface is a place unlike any other where skiers can discover their limits on Draper's Drop and Mountain Run, get airtime in the terrain park, and explore the vast 96 trails stretching 25 miles over three peaks, building their fundamentals in time on snow. Whiteface is a place where athletes can discover unprecedented opportunity 
to grow in the sport of ski racing and to test the very boundaries of possibility. When it comes to competitions at Whiteface, there is one race that stands out, the Hovey. 2023 marks the 60th anniversary of this legendary event named for Lake Placid resident William A. Hovey. First held at Mount Whitney in 1963 in Hovey's honor after he passed away, now an annual tradition that continues to honor a legacy by gathering young racers to compete. And the desire to win is a defining moment in any young racer's career. And he loved skiing and wanted everyone he knew to ski. And to be able to ski affordably, I think he would be shocked and amazed and like couldn't believe. And you know, my three kids are here and my little granddaughter. So the legacy is definitely continuing and he'd be very proud. Known for launching the ski careers of many young athletes, including two-time Olympic medalist Andrew Wybrick, the race is an exciting rite of passage for young racers. If I started when I was five, they made an exception for me to come in early because my older brother had started that year. So I started as, as the youngest kid and I was there from the time that I was five till I was 16 when I made the national team. They gave me the tools that I needed to move from to the little kids skiing up the hill to everything that I needed to excel in the sport and make it to the next level and, and to the NORAM level and the national team level. With the greatest vertical east of the Rockies, Whiteface is a place where learning is fun, where adrenaline runs, and athletes dare to go big, and more importantly, dream big. Like its silhouette, Whiteface's breathtaking views leave the biggest of impressions. From its beginner terrain to the training and race courses, being raised on a skier board at Whiteface sets a stage for success. Instead of holding you back, Whiteface is where you'll find your true power and your way forward. A place you'll find the rush, the speed, the terrain, and a platform for the possibilities one makes of it. <laughs>